Hey girls, today we're gonna be doing a booty band and dumbbell workout. So this is gonna be a total body workout. I'm using a medium booty band, but you can use anywhere from light to heavy. So if you wanna have two ready for the workout, you can also do that if you wanna change it up and you're stronger in different spots. And then for dumbbells, I have a set of eight pound dumbbells, but again, you can use anywhere from light to heavy. Um, or you can have two sets available for things that you're stronger in or things that you might need a little bit lighter weights for. So we're gonna start with a warm up. We're gonna put the band just above the knees. And then bring those feet nice and wide. So we'll start with some squats. So you can do hands on your hips or you can move those arms with you. So knees and toes in alignment, you're gonna sit those hips back and then bring it back up. So you go back and up. Sit those hips nice and low. Keep your weight in your heels. Make sure your knees and toes are in alignment. And then make sure that those knees don't cave in as you are going down into your squat. So make sure those knees are pressing open to get those glutes warmed up. Down and press. Abs nice and strong, chest lifted, shoulders back. Good. Neck in line with your spine. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you press it back up. Three. Here's two, last one. From here, come over to one side of your mat. You're gonna go down into a little squat and then step those feet out for three, two, one, and up. Down, step it out for three, two, one, and up. Down, three, two, one, and up. So you get nice and low. Really step that feet out, those feet out. Feel those outer thighs. Again, wake up those glutes a little bit. And up, down, you go for three, two, one, and up, two more each side. Down for three, two, one, and up, three, two, one, up, one more each side. You got this, ladies. I'm already feeling the booty muscles. And up, down, last one, three, two, one, and up. Whew. I am definitely feeling it. So again, weight in those heels. We're gonna lower down into our squat, hold it. Then that right knee is gonna open for 10, nine, eight. Stabilize that left knee. Good, you're here for five, four, Three, two, one. Bring it up, lower it down. Left side, you open for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Again, stabilize that right knee. Three, two, one, and up. One more time, lower it down. Both knees open for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and up. Not even into the real workout yet, and I'm already feeling it, so I hope you are too. Hands come down onto the mat. You're gonna have that band still above the knees, step those feet out, and just find a plank. So abs nice and strong here. Scoop the belly in, shoulders away from those ears. Just finishing warming everything up, the shoulders, the abs, big inhales and exhales. Try and look about two feet in front of you. Neck in line with your spine. Don't look down at your toes. Big inhales and exhales. We'll be here for five, four, three, two, one, and down. Just take a quick little child's pose. Let your low back stretch out for a second. All right, so what we're gonna do here for our workout is two exercises going back to back. So we go first plie squats with an upright row. And then the second exercise is gonna be side lunges with a bicep curl and overhead press. So then we'll go 15 for each of those, repeat it two more times, and then on to our next set. All right, so we're gonna bring the band just below the knees here. Grab your weights. And then knees and toes turn out nice and wide. So you want those heels a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Good, from here you're gonna lower down into your squat. Weights are down in front. And then from here, press it up, lift those elbows. So you go down and up. 
down and up. So when you go down into your plie, again, really reach those knees back behind you. Really push open into the band. So you're getting resistance on the way down and on the way up. You're really working those rotating muscles in the glutes and those inner thighs. Good. We go for four. Here's three. You have two. And last one. All right, put one of those weights down. Bring that band just above the knees. And then from here, we're gonna step that right leg out. And I want the weight in your left hand. So knees and toes in alignment. Step it out. We reach that weight down. Come up and curl and press. So you go down, up, curl and press. Down, up, curl and press. So again, you're working that right booty cheek really sitting that hip back as you go into your side lunge, and then working the shoulders and the biceps on that left arm. Down and up. You are gonna feel this workout everywhere tomorrow. You're gonna love it. Curl and press. We have five. Here's four. You have three, two, and last one, and up. Whew. All right, other side. So left leg is gonna be stepping out, weight is in that right hand. Here we go, you go down, come in, curl and press. Down, in, curl and press. Good. So again, sit that left hip back in your lunge. Really get a nice big step out to the side. So you're really working those outer thighs. And if your band rolls up a little bit, take a second if you need it to untwist it, get it nice and flat again. Down, curl up and press. Abs are strong, watch that you're not arching that low back. You have three. Here's two. Last one. Take a quick breather. We bring that band just below those knees again. We're finding that plie squat. So grab those weights, two weights this time. Get those feet nice and wide. You'll have the most resistance at the bottom of that plie squat, so keep that in mind. Palms face in towards you. Let's go in three, two, one. You go down, up, right row. Down and up, right row. Down and lift. Weight stays in those heels. Try and keep your torso upright. Power through those heels to stand it back up. Again, watch those knees. Make sure that you're reaching those knees to the wall behind you. Squeeze those shoulder blades in the back. Here's three, two, last one, and up. Nice. One weight down, bring that band again just above those knees. Nice quick transitions. All right, we're gonna step that right foot out, weight in that left hand. Let's go in three, two, one. You go down, curl and press. Down, curl and press. Good. So you reach that weight down. You're working your core as you're going down into that side lunge to keep a nice flat back. So really stick your booty out behind you. Keep the weight in the heel. Really press into that band. And then again, abs super strong as you press that weight overhead. Down, curl and press. Down, curl and press. You have four. Here's three. Two. Last one. And up. All right, other side. Left foot stepping out, weight in that right hand. Here we go in three, two, one. So you step that leg out, down, curl up and reach. Down, curl up and reach. Again, sit the hips back. Abs nice and strong, back nice and flat. Reach it down and up. So again, full body exercise here. Working the core, 
those hips, the glutes, arms, everything. And again, you'll also feel that heart rate racing, which is also gonna be burning a ton of calories. Here's four, three, two, and one, and up. Good, weight comes down for a second. Shake everything out. We're gonna put that band, again, just below those knees. I like it below the knees just because it, I feel like my kneecaps kind of keep the band in place a little bit more so it doesn't roll up. Grab those weights, walk those feet out nice and wide, knees and toes turned out, and then from here we go down and then row it up, down, row up. Good, so really push those knees into the band. Good. Make sure those knees are reaching back behind you. Squeeze those shoulder blades in the back. Nice tall spine. Imagine you're sliding your back down a wall. Press through those heels to stand. Here's four, three, two, and last one. And then bring it down. Bring that band, again, just above the knees. Come over to one side of your mat. We're stepping that right foot out, weight in that left hand. Here we go, three, two, one. You go down, curl, and press. Last round, ladies. Down, curl, and press. Nice and strong with those abs. Set those hips back. Always try and get those hips a little farther back. Keep the weight in the heels, and make sure that you can kind of lift those toes up when you're in that side ledge. So if you feel it in your knees at all, try to keep your weight a little bit farther back. We have five, four, three, two, and last one. And up. Bring it on to the other side. All right, step that left foot out, right arm curls and presses. Here we go, three, two, one. Step it out, curl, press. Out, curl and press. Good. Keep those abs pulled in. You want those abs strong like a corset. Engage those abs as if they were tight like a plank. Down and up. Really sit that hip back. Down, curl, press. You have five, here's four, three, two, last one, and up. All right, grab a sip of water. You can keep that band right where it is. Big inhales and exhales. Big inhales and exhales again. Get that heart rate down a little bit. Grab as much water as you need, towel off. All right, so what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna come down onto the mat. We're gonna do renegade rows or plank rows with those dumbbells. So we're gonna do row, row, and then we're gonna do a booty lift with the legs. So you go row, row, leg lift, leg lift. Then we'll come over onto our backs and we'll do some bridges with triceps. All right, so come on down, grab those weights. And we're gonna put the weights right underneath the shoulders. And then from here, you're gonna step those legs out into your plank position. So find your nice plank position. And then from here, you're gonna row, row. Stabilize those hips, you lift the leg and lift. Here we go, we go row, row, lift, lift. We're gonna do 10 sets, row, row, lift, Lift, nice job ladies. Row, row, lift, lift. So stabilize those hips as much as possible. Find those low abs. Lift, lift, row, row, lift, lift. Squeeze that booty to lift that leg up. Lift, 
lift. If you need to modify for those rows, you can go into a knee plank row, row, then find your full plank, lift, lift. So again, you would go row, row, find your plank, lift, lift. One more round here, row, row, lift, lift. Whew. Shake out those arms for a second. We're gonna lay on our back. And again, we have bridges with triceps. So think skull crushers here, lying tricep extensions. Band stays right above those knees. Lay on back. All right, from here, feet come in towards those glutes. Widen those feet a little bit so you feel that pressure into the band. Bring those weights up to the ceiling. We're gonna keep those arms up. You're gonna lift those hips, keep those hips up and you're gonna bend at the elbows, hold it at the top, open the knees, and in. Bend, up, open, close. So make it nice and controlled, take your time with it. Try not to fly through it too quickly. Keep those hips up as much as you can, squeeze those glutes, and squeeze those triceps behind you. So you go down, up, open, close down, up, open, close. So try not to let those knees touch. You keep distance there the whole time so you always have tension on that band. Those glutes are gonna be on fire. So we have four more, you got this ladies. Abs strong, protect that low back. Here's three, here's two. Last one, open, close, and down. Whew. Shake out those arms a little bit. Bring yourself all the way up. Turn it on over. We have those renegade rows with those leg lifts. So think squeezing the booty as you lift those legs. Again, feel free to modify those plank rows on your knees if you need to. Totally, totally acceptable. Then find your full plank and then do those booty lifts. So here we go. Weights right underneath those shoulders. Abs nice and strong. Step those feet back. Here we go, we go row, row, lift, lift, row, row, lift, lift. Squeeze that booty in the back, row, row, lift, lift, row, row, lift, lift, row, row, squeeze. Squeeze, shoulders out of your ears. Exhale as you lift. <sighs> Exhale, lift, lift. Exhale, squeeze, squeeze. We have three more. <sighs> lift, lift, row, row, lift, lift. One more round, you got this. <sighs> lift. And down. Shake out those arms. Whew. My triceps are still feeling those tricep extensions from the first round in those rows. So you know you're doing something right, right? Lay on back. Walk those feet out a little bit wider and in towards your booty. Grab those weights. And here we go. You press those weights up. Lift those hips. Hold it nice and strong. You bend. Lift, open, close. Bend, lift, open, close. Again, work on that hip stability. Use that core strength to stabilize your spine, to stabilize those hips. Bend, squeeze those triceps, squeeze those glutes, and in. Again, always keeping tension on that band. So we're doing 15 here. Squeeze those glutes. Keep lifting through those hips. We just have one more round after this, ladies. Down, up, open. We have four. Here's three. Two, you got this. And last one. And down. Oh, my arms feel like jello. Oh, definitely gonna feel those arms tomorrow. 
And again, we're getting all of that core work in our planks and in our bridges, working those back muscles as well. So getting that full body workout. All right, weights right underneath those hands or right underneath those shoulders. You're gonna step those feet out, last round of those renegade rows. Remember, you can always modify on those knees if you need to. Here we go, three, two, one, you row. Row, lift, lift. So those feet can be a little wider apart here, stabilizing those hips. You exhale, lift, exhale, lift. Exhale, lift, lift. Up, up, squeeze the booty, lift, lift. Row, row, lift, lift. Come on, ladies, push through it. Modify if you need to, just keep on moving. We have three, lift. Two more rounds, you got this, ladies. Up, up, last one. Up, up, and down. Whew. I don't know about you, but those are like the hardest ones of this whole workout series for me. So, those are, thank you, thank you. All right, let's bring it down onto our back. Again, feet nice and wide. Open those knees up on the band. Grab those weights, bring them up. Palms face in, lift into that bridge. Nice and strong through that booty, you bend. Up, open, close. Bend, up, open, close. Good, power through, ladies. Keep those abs strong, rib cage knit together. Good. Use those back muscles. Again, it's normal to feel those back muscles here. Should feel kind of like a warming sensation. It shouldn't hurt the back. You should just feel those muscles working. Open, close. Again, keep pressure on that band the whole time. Squeeze those triceps. Here's three. Open, close. Here's two. Last one. Down. Woo. All right, shake out those arms a little bit. Put those weights off to the side. Grab a quick sip of water. All right, big inhales and exhales. Get that heart rate down. All right, so from here, we're going to be doing push ups with toe taps out to the side. I'm going to put my weights off to the side so they don't get in the way. So again, you can modify if you need to on those knees and then lift back up to your full plank for those toe taps side to side. So from here, full range is what I'll show first. We're gonna do 10 of these as well. And then I'll show that modification. So if you need to, just find that plank on your knees, step those feet out. Again, have tension on the band. From here, you're gonna lower down to your push up, press it up, and then step the right foot out, left foot out. You go down, up, out, out. Now on the knees, you go down, up, find your plank, out, out. So again, down to the knees, down, up, find your plank, out, out. Again, 10 of these, out, out, down, up, out. Out. Again, take your time with it. Out. Out. Here's three. Here's two. Again, modify if you need to. Those arms are probably pretty tired. Last one. Out. Out. And down. Shake out those arms a little bit. So again, modify if you need to. Go to those knees if you need to. I know the arms are probably pretty tired from those plank rows. So listen to your body. If you start to feel like you're arching your low back or letting those hips sag, take a rest when you need it. All right, let's come on over to our left side. 
And then from here, we're gonna do a little side plank on the knees and on the elbow. And then we're gonna lift that top leg up. So we're getting booty work and oblique work. So from here, left elbow is down. You're gonna lift into a side plank on the knees. And then from here, you're gonna lift. You lift. Down, so like a little clamshell here. You lift. Think of external rotation through those glutes. Keep that bottom hip lifted. You wanna squeeze through those bottom obliques. You have five, four, three, two, one, and down. Swing those legs over, or just turn yourself around. Either way, you know what's coming up. Find that elbow plank on your knee. From here, stabilize the hip, abs strong, hips are stacked, you open. Down, and down. Good, so again, stability through the shoulders, stability through those obliques. If you need a little extra padding for that bottom knee, grab a pillow or double up your mat or towel or anything to what feels good. Good, you got five, four, three, two, one. Booty is on fire, right? All right, let's bring it over. We have those push-ups. Again, modify if necessary. We wanna make sure you have good form. You'll get stronger, I promise. And again, like I said, those plank rows are tough. So if you need to modify on the knees, go for it. Here we go, step those feet out or find that knee plank. We go down, out, out. Ready, three, two, one. Down, up, out, out, down. Push, out, out. Here's four. You got this, ladies. Here's five. Just five more. Up, out, out, down, up, out, out. You got three more. Down, out, two, out. Out, last one, down, up, push, push, and down. Shake it out. All right, side plank on those knees with that little clam lift. So working those booty muscles, lifting that knee up, feeling that external rotation. If you need to modify this one, you can always keep that bottom hip down and you'll still be working that bottom side oblique. Just stay lifted the whole time. But again, if you can, lift that bottom leg up, or that bottom hip up. Here we go, you open and down, lift. Again, chest open, shoulders stacked. Feel a little pinch in that bottom side oblique. Stay strong in that bottom shoulder. Make sure it stays away from your ears. You're gonna feel so good after this workout. I know it's hard. We have five, four, Three, two, one, and down. Whew. Slap it out a little if you need to. All right, again, other side, here we go. Elbow right underneath the shoulders. Again, keep that bottom hip down if you need to. We're getting close to the end, I know you're tired. Push it through as much as you can with good form. And then lift. Again, if you can lift that bottom hip up, awesome. If not, you'll get there, I promise. Stay lifted through that bottom shoulder. So again, just as much shoulder and abs as it is about that top booty cheek. You open that knee back. We're here for five, four, three, two, one, and down. <sighs> one more round, ladies. We're almost there. We just have a quick little bit of abs after, and then we get to stretch it out. All right, last round of push-ups. Mentally prepared, get yourself ready. Big inhale. Big long exhale. Hands under those shoulders. Again, modifying the knees if you need it. Here we go. Find your plank position. Ready? Three, two, one. We go down, up, out, out, down, up, out, out, down, up. Out, out. The 
This is four. Out, out. Here's five. Out, out. Here's six. Out, out. Out, out. You have three more, ladies. Push. Out, out. Two. Out, out. Last one. Out, out, and down. Whew. Shake out those arms. All right. Side plank with those little clams. Here we go. Finish strong. We just have some abs after this. Lift those hips up. Here we go. You open and down. Good. Stay lifted. Stay strong. Work on those rotating muscles in the booty. Squeeze those booty cheeks to open. Feel that shoulder work. You have five, four, three, two, one, and down. Last side, you got it. All right. Here we go. Elbow under the shoulder. Lift it up. Feet stay glued together. You open and down. Stay lifted, stay strong, breathe through it. Use that exhale. Keep those hips steady. You have five. Here's four, three, two, one. Whew. Oh my goodness. All right, let's finish with my favorite. We're gonna do a little bit of crisscross for those abs. Keep that band right where it is. We're gonna work those upper abs, lower abs, obliques, and then we're finished. You get to stretch it out. So legs up to tabletop, hands come behind your head. You're gonna to twist towards me, extend that opposite leg out, and switch, switch, switch. So you're rotating side to side, drawing your belly button in towards your spine. Readjust that band if you need to. It might slide a little on this one. Push into that band with that straight leg. Get that booty and hamstring work. We're here for five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my gosh, nice job, ladies. Extend those legs out nice and long. Just take a second. Extend those arms overhead. Imagine somebody's pulling on those wrists, somebody else is pulling on those ankles. So you're nice and long, stretching out those abs. Good, and then bring those knees in, give them a little squeeze. And while you're at it, you can take that band off. Whew. Rock your hips a little side to side, let your low back release a little bit. All right, and then from here, Place the foot that's closest to me up into one end of the band and then hold on to the opposite end of the band with your hands. We'll get a little hamstring stretch here. So both hips are grounded down. Get that leg as straight as you can. You should feel that stretch through the whole backside of the leg. And give yourself a little flex through that foot so you get into the calf a little bit as well. And then if you are a little bit more flexible, you can extend that bottom leg out straight as well for a little deeper stretch. <sighs> Try and relax your shoulders. And then again, we did a lot of outer thigh work since we have that booty band. So from here, you're gonna cross the, the band over to the opposite hand. So right now you have the closer foot towards me in the, the loop, the, one, the hand that's farthest away from me is gonna grab that loop, reach the other hand out to the side, and then you're gonna cross that leg over the body. So reach it away from me, and then you should feel stretched through the whole outside of that leg, into the hip, maybe into the low back. But try to keep the shoulders grounded down. Just breathe into those muscles. So you get like a little mini spine twist. And again, into that hip. Take one more breath. And then bring it up. Grab onto the band with both hands. And then just switch the foot in the loop. So the foot that's farthest away from me 
Hold on to it with both hands. We're gonna get that hamstring stretch first. Both hips grounded down, leg as straight as possible. And then you can extend that opposite leg down at straight. Again, if you are flexible enough, if not, no worries, keep it bent. Big inhale and exhale, one more breath here. And then the hand that's closest to me, keep holding on to that band. Other hand reaches out to a T-shape and then cross that leg across. Again, shoulders stay grounded. And it doesn't have to go all the way over to the side. It can just go more like a diagonal. Think more of length out through that hip, reaching down towards that opposite foot. And then that leg that's in the loop is reaching really long out of the hip socket. If that makes sense. Good, and then bring it back up through the center. Keep that same foot into the band. And then from here, you're gonna cross the leg that's closest to me across it and underneath the hand. So you're gonna make a little figure four stretch. And just hold that. And kind of pull into that band to get a little bit more pressure into that figure four stretch. Big inhales and exhales. Again, those glutey muscles did a lot of work, so reward them with a nice stretch. Good, and then you'll switch. Other foot goes back into that loop. Cross that leg furthest away from me into over the knee, under the hand, and you find that figure four stretch. And if this is a little too complicated with the band, feel free to do a figure four stretch without the band if you feel that a little bit more, or if it's a little bit too much brain work after that intense workout. I totally get it. <laughs> All right, big inhales and exhales. One more deep breath. And then bring it up, uncross, release that foot in the band. And then bring it all the way up to standing. And we will take a little chest stretch and arm stretch. So we're just gonna hold on to the band with both hands here. Reach those arms back, open up and expand through the chest. Widen those feet a little bit. Keep holding onto that band. And then from here, nice flat back. Hinge over from the hips and just take a nice stretch over. Good. Let those arms be nice and heavy. You'll feel this a little in the front shoulders, the chest, the low back. Again, a little bit in the hamstrings. Then bring those hands down to your low back and roll yourself all the way up and you ladies are finished. Awesome job today. Again, that was another tough workout. You worked that total body. So you are going to feel this tomorrow and you're going to love it. I will see you in the next workout and have a fantastic day.